friends, welcome back to Mrs. K's Storytime. I'm Mrs. K, and today I have a book to read to you by a very famous author named Eric Carle. And you may recognize his books based on his illustrations. This book is called Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me, and it's by Eric Carle. Of course, Eric Carle has some beautiful illustrations in his book and he starts with these awesome stars. Papa, please get the moon for me by Eric Carl. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and she reached for it. I don't think she can, but let's see. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa, said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. Do you think her dad can get the moon? Hmm. When I open the book, it just has these two arrows. Let's see what happens when I open it. Oh. <gasps> Papa got a very long ladder. <gasps> wow. That is a long ladder. Do you think we'll make it to the moon now? Let's find out. He carried the very long ladder towards a very high mountain. Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. I see another arrow. Should we open it? Let's do it. Okay, let's see. Wow. He's so cool. I love the illustrations in this book. Up and up and up he climbed. More arrows. What should I do? Open them. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I am just the right size, you can take me with you. Have you ever seen the moon change its shape and size? I've seen the moon when it looks like a big ball in the sky, and I've also seen it when it looks like a teeny tiny little banana or toenail. Let's see what happens. And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it down and down and down. He climbed. Here goes Papa back down to the earth. I think he brought the moon with him this time. Do you think that Monica is going to want to play with the moon when she gets it? Let's see. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it into the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And finally, it disappeared altogether. Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear.
Each night the moon grew and grew and grew. There is our big beautiful moon. If you look really closely you can even see a little face that's been painted on the moon. I think that's pretty neat. Friends, that is the end of Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me by Eric Carle. Now, if you have ever seen the moon changing its shape or getting bigger or smaller, it's actually playing a little trick on you. If you want to learn more, go search with a grown-up about the moon phases. There's lots of videos and books on the moon phases, and it'll tell you about why the moon looks to us on Earth like it's changing its shape. Friends, thank you so much for visiting Mrs. K's Storytime, and I hope you come back again to listen to more stories. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, friends.